Hey, what's up, my people? How you doing? My name is Dalton, and this is my channel. Now, today, I want to talk to you about the SNAP and food stamps, okay, information for November 2023. Now, this is going to be a short one. Basically, as long as you follow those qualifications and you have not been denied, uh, because you, as I already told you about, the rules change, and some of you all probably got that notice that you're not going to get no food stamps unless you follow these new rules. Okay? Now, if you're not one of those people, everything should go as normal, okay, for uh, the month of November. Now, Here's the deal, as I told you before on one of my other videos, uh, there is a chance for a government shutdown on November the 15th, 2023. Matter of fact, the Republicans do not, as of right now, even have a Speaker of the House, okay? And I'm not even sure you can... Don't quote me on this because I haven't really looked into it, but I'm not even sure you can even make a, a stopgap agreement to uh, prolong shutting up down the government without a uh, Speaker of the House for the Republicans. You may. You may not be able to. I'm not sure. But I do know one thing. The Republicans, the Speaker of the House they want, they want a ultra-conservative. Okay, and the ones that have been stepping up have not been ultra conservatives. Okay, and that's really kind of what they're looking for. And if they do get their wish and they get a Speaker of the House before November the 13th, there's, I'm telling you, there's a good chance there's going to be a government shutdown. What does that mean? Basically, it will affect your food stamps in any government benefits and yes that includes social security any type of social security um for you or someone else you receive it for will be affected in january okay yeah that'll put a real damper on your uh <laughs> january 1st uh festivities trust me which also means that there will be a delay on food stamps snap Social Security benefits, the whole nine yards, if there is a government shutdown on November the 15th, okay? That's if they cannot come to a compromise to prevent it. And most likely, if they do come to a compromise, it'll just be another stopgap for 45 days, like the last one was, okay? And uh, don't be surprised if you hear all the craziness that you heard about i guess about 20 days ago about government shutdown and, and uh all this again because it's gonna roll out again okay now here's the big question it it's iffy it may or it may not affect your december federal benefits, whether that be SNAP, food stamps, okay, or Social Security benefits, okay, it may, or any any type of federal benefits, it may or may not affect that in December, since if we do have a shutdown, it'll be November the 15th, okay, now, as I told you in the past, the longest government shutdown we've ever had was 35 days and it was devastating okay for a lot of people um <clears throat> when the wheels of the government shuts down okay uh it's not once it starts back up such as giving out benefits things such as that snap food stamps social security etc it's not automatic. It's not like flicking on the switch, okay? 
it takes time to get everything back in order. That's why you may have delays in January if there's a government shutdown. The possibility of a government shutdown is right now 85%. This is my opinion, but it's 85%. Okay. And the um, Republican Party right now is going through a major transformation. So sometimes transformations can be a little bit chaotic. All right. And that's kind of what's going on right now. So your food stamps and SNAP. And yes, Social Security benefits should be fine for uh, November. The yeah for November, twenty twenty three, okay. But as I told you in the past, I would definitely budget it, okay. I would do early Christmas shopping and things such as that because you're not one hundred percent sure if there is a shutdown if it's going to disrupt what happens in December, you can definitely put your money on the fact that it will mess with whatever happens in January 2024, okay? And y'all know how it is. The, the Republicans will blame the Democrats and Democrats will be blame the Republicans and the people who hit most, get hurt most, are going to be you and I, the American citizens. So, that's just the way it is. Uh, and right now, a lot of the, the people in Congress seem like they're more worried about everyone else except for us as American citizens. But nevertheless, they're, you know, definitely are not having problems using our taxes to do whatever they want to do for other, other countries and other people, but not for the American citizens, okay? And yes, that's my opinion, but, you know, uh, from what I see right now, you know, there's a lot of double talk. For, give me an instance. Uh, I think her name is Yellen, and she's over, uh, like, the finances of, of the federal government. They're talking out of two sides of their mouth. One one side of their mouth they're saying to us as American citizens, uh, there's going to be inflation, there's a possible recession, we're running out of money. But then she gets on national television and she says, we have more than enough money to support two wars. And her attitude was like maybe even three. So somehow we have more than enough money. Okay, and that's taxpayer money. You have to understand. We have more than enough money to support uh, two wars. Okay. But on the flip side, we got inflation, increased uh, utilities, uh, almost 40%. Um, and, uh, possible majorly, majorly, uh, I'm talking, there's a strong chance, uh, um, I don't know if majorly is actually word, but there's a strong chance of a recession at the end of this month, I mean, at the end of, uh, in December, without a doubt, in 2024, Okay. And, but somehow, and they definitely don't have enough money to give us stimulus, okay? And they may be shutting down the government on the 15th of November, but somehow we have more than enough money um, to fund two wars out of her words. So, you know, you know, I'm not a... Uh, uh, expert when it comes to finances, but it seems like she's sent, talking two different things here. Okay, and yes, it it does affect us as Americans. You know, it affects the food stamps, SNAP, um, Social Security, federal benefits, and things like that. When our government uh, is talking out of two sides of the mouth, and they are one one of the party of the governments that it takes to 
work out deals for the American people is in a transformational chaotic state, which is the GOP, the Republicans as of right now. Uh, and it happens, but so, yeah. I know that was a little bit longer than I expected, but I hope you understand what's going on and why I said uh, plan ahead, use your money and stuff wisely. Uh, even maybe even buy those a couple of those Christmas gifts early, you know, um, October, November, and hopefully everything you will get everything in December too. But if not, at least you have some of the gifts and stuff that you were looking for. Okay? Alright. And I guess I'll wrap to y'all later. Peace.